Menominee and Park Mill are the first of five hydroelectric dams on the Menominee River. The dams have played an important role in the economic development of Menominee, Michigan and Marinette, Wisconsin. The original purpose of the dam was uh, for paper mill purposes. They used the water that fell at the dams to spin turbines, which um, created uh, energy for use of the, the machines. In the late 1800s, the power was created uh, not to use for the pulp mill, but to actually use to create electricity. So now we are creating clean, renewable energy. But for the lake sturgeon, the dams have a downside. The major problem that we're trying to get over with the fish passage at these two dams is that sturgeon um, that are in the lake, Great Lakes now, are not able to swim upstream to their native spawning area, uh, about 80 miles upstream of this dam. So that's what we're trying to do is get them upstream to back to their spawning area. They call it fish passage and right now the DNR and partners are focusing on the sturgeon population in the Menominee River. So the Menominee River is the largest population in Lake Michigan right now, um, which makes it a good candidate for fish passage because there's a lot of fish that are coming up below the first dam that would actually like to move further upriver. And moving farther upriver is important for successful reproduction. So there's good spawning habitat below the first dam on the Menominee River, but what the river is lacking is good juvenile habitat. Particularly for young sturgeon, they like to have several miles, maybe 10 to 30 miles of open natural flowing rivers. In the lower Menominee River, there's only three miles before Green Bay, and typically those young fish, after they hatch and get carried downstream in the current, will get flushed out into Green Bay, where their survival is much lower than it would be if they were able to stay in the river. In the spring, once the river water reaches about 50 degrees, sturgeon begin their journey upstream to spawn. The females lay their eggs in the river rapids, and the males fertilize them. Then the adult fish leave the eggs to incubate in the rock crevices for several days to a week or more, depending on the water temperature. Once they hatch, the young fry will burrow down into the gravel and stay in the gravel until they use up their yolk sac, which is sort of their sack lunch for the first week of life. Once they use up their sack lunch, they need to come out and find food on their own. And they typically like to do this at night. They really don't like daylight, so in the daylight they'll stay down in the gravel at night They'll come out looking for food, and the current in the river will then carry them downstream, which will then distribute the young fish over the downstream habitat in the river. Then when the water cools down in the fall, those young sturgeon, uh, six months old, will swim out into the Great Lakes. Currently, there are only 10 sturgeon populations in Lake Michigan. Most of these populations are very small, numbering just a few dozen to a few hundred fish. Sturgeon populations now are, you know, very low levels compared to historically what they were. And so we're just trying to, you know, restore fish passage both upstream and downstream on the Menominee River and try and give the sturgeon a hand so that they get their, their populations can thrive. A lot of people ask why is it important to provide fish passage and it's really a value judgment. Um, lake sturgeon have been very abundant in the Great Lakes since the Ice Age times or since the glaciers receded from the Great Lakes. Um, in the last hundred years, or during our generation's time, that popula those populations have been just about wiped out. And so a lot of us are concerned about the legacy that that leaves when we feel we have the ability to help those populations recover. There's a lot of interest from both natural resource agency folks and also our constituents to see uh, fish passage at this facility, specifically sturgeon. And try and right or wrong, that's happened you know, over a century or a little bit better on the river.